During this module, what we'll be doing is using the Rapid Scorecard framework to help understand an effective organization design for your organization. So through the workflow so far, we've constructed both a process strategic analysis and an initiative strategic analysis. We'll be using both of those as the input to developing the strategic organization design. As a reminder of the deliverables, through Module 1 we developed a strategy map and eventually some performance indicators. Based on that, we did an analysis of how well our core processes are supporting each of those strategic objectives. In fact, it's these intersection points where the process supports the strategic objective that we'll need to identify a team and a process owner. The initiatives are similar. The core initiatives we listed across the top, the same strategic objectives down the left from the strategy map, and here we understand where the initiatives support the strategic objectives. And obviously the strategic initiative team should not only have these process players, but these strategic initiative process project owners. The deliverable is going to look something like this, where for each of the strategic objectives we can better understand what is the impact, failure modes, and control points for each process where it supports each strategic objective and identify where the logical leadership for that strategic initiative team will lie. 